Kakadosh, Bokatov, Masechet Sukkad of Zayin Amudalif. We just finished by speaking about yesterday by saying that you have to put the tefach, right, which was the extra tefach on the wall in the Alachson, which is basically opposite the other two Mechitzot Shlemot, in order that the, the tefach is kilub going to be counted as both Mechitzot. So it looks like four Mechitzot instead of just two Mechitzot. The Shatik Rav and Rav, he actually kept quiet and he didn't say anything on this. Okay? Not because it says here, not because he actually had admitted to it, but rather because he didn't even pay attention. Sometimes you don't answer, not because you don't have an answer. Sometimes you just don't pay attention. So that's called Shatik Rav. Rav just, uh, you know, he didn't, even pay, he didn't even bother. So Itman Nami was stated. Yeah, this is where we're starting today. The first line on the top, Itman Nami was stated. Amar Shemuel Mishmed de Levi. Said Shemuel in the name of Levi. You have to put it opposite the one which is, right, going out from the So here you could see the picture. <coughs> okay. This is the one where we have Midenu Keneged Roshtor. Looking for no, there's no picture here. I thought there was a picture, no picture. Ah, there is a picture. Here it is. So, this is the one which is when you're going to. One second. This is the first one, which is Keneged Ayotze Shitat Rashi, over here. Keneged Ayotze. No, this is the first one. Keneged Ayotze. The next one. Was Keneged Rosh Tor, which is this one. That's Keneged Rosh Tor. So, and this is Keneged Ayotze according to the other Shita. The word that didn't reach the Tzad. The, the wall didn't go all the way to the top. No, no, no. Let's pretend that it is going to the top. Again, here, they're not they're not paying attention to the schach. Here, there's no schach at all. It's just trying to show you where is the wall. Where is that tepach? So that's where it is. Okay? Now it says... That's what it has to be. It has to be an alakson in order that it's considered, right? Rabbi Simon. Rabbi Simon and some people say from Yeshua Belevi says, Oselo Tefach Sohek. You have to make it as Tefach, which is actually big, because it's actually even going to be a little bit bigger than a Tefach. You have to place it with a distance less than three Tefachim close to the wall. Right? Anything which is less than three Tefachim close to the wall is considered like Levud. Okay? Because remember, the wood was is that anything which is within three tfachim is considered part of the wall. So Amar of Yehuda says of Yehuda, sukkah suya ke mavui keshira. If you have a sukkah that's made like a mavui, which means that both of the walls are opposite, opposite each other, it's still going to be kasher. Yeah, look at the, let's see the picture again. Uh, this is the, the Tefach Sochek, right? This is the one of the Tefach Sochek over here, this one. Okay, because you're making it like a little bit bigger than a Tefach and you're putting it within three of the wall. So if it's considered that that's the third wall, but remember, since it's within three, it's going to be okay. The next one is like this. It's mamash, opposite each other. No, no, no. That's what he's saying. It's it's opposite each other and you put it wherever you want. But within the three tvachim. Okay? So now it says the Gimana, 
יא סוכה זו ערך כשרה ואותו טבח ממידו לכל רוח שיצא. רבי סימון ויתאם על שוב לוי סז, עושה פס ארבעה או משהו, יאף תמי כפס על פור טפחים אין הלווה, ומעמידו בפחות משלושה סמוך לדופן, you're going to put it with less than three טפחים close to the wall, וכל פחות משלושה סמוך לדופן, I mean anything which is close to the wall, within three טפחים is considered the wall. So ask the Gemara, ומאי שנהתם דקמרת סגיה טפח שוחק, ומאי שנהך דקמרת באיה פס ארבעה. Why is it in the first case you said that all you have to do is a tefach sochek? Remember, tefach sochek, sochek just means a little bit more than tefach. And here all of a sudden, you're coming and you're telling me you need four tefachim. Why in our case you need four tefachim? In another case, right, all you needed is a tefach, a uh, little bit more than a tefach, tefach sochek. So answers the Gemara, hatam di kashte defanot, there that you have two complete walls, kil chatan, like the halacha. So then sagile betefach sochek. So it's already, all you need is a tefach sochek. Here, that you don't have two defanot, right? Which means kil chatan, but there's a big, huge gap in between them. Yika pasar in. If you got a pasar ba, it's kosher, but if not, no, which means like this. In the first case, what was the case? You had two kosher walls attached either this side, this side, but it was all like an L. You had two kosher walls. So when you have two kosher walls, the third wall could just be a tefach sochek, a little bit more than a tefach, and it was already going to be okay, right? This case, you didn't have two kosher walls. You had one wall here, one wall here, or one wall here, one wall here. It depends which direction you're going. But basically, you had two walls separate from each other. It's like a mavui, right? You could walk, go right straight through it. Yeah? And then what happened? So now on one of the sides, I'm going to use another wall. That case, you need four. Right? Apas shalabat fachim. So Amar Rava, Rava comes and he says, Ena niteret, right? Ela betzurat petach. Even with so, Still, this this rochav of the tefach is only going to be permitted with the tzurat petach, which means you have to put a kaned achav on chetzi tefach close to one of the one of the defanot, right? And then that's going to be the tzurat petach. I'll show you here. Here's the, here's the tzurat petach. On the top, you have tzurat petach. Okay, why is it surat petach? Because you need the border. You need the, the, the yeah, yeah. you know, like the frame. That's called surat petach. Okay. So Yika Damri, they also said, Amar Rava Rava says, Venitere nami bit surat petach. It was also going to be permitted with surat petach. So Yika Damni, Right, there are some people that said, "I'm a rabbi who's sicha nami tzurat petach." Also, you need tzurat petach, which means besides the tefach that has to be close to one of the full walls, you also need to do tzurat petach right throughout the entire area, right? Which means that you have the tefach close to one of the walls, and then another kane on the other side, another reed or another beam on the other side, and then you have tzurat petach also there. Okay. So now the Gemara is going to say a story. Ravashi Ashkechel Rav Kana the Kavi Tefach Sochek. Ravashi found Rav Kana that he did a Tefach Sochek. The Kavi Tzurat Petach and he did Tzurat Petach. So Amalei, so he comes and he says, Lo Saber Mor Lehad Rava. The Amar Rav and he teret Nami B'Tzurat Petach. Right that he says that it's going to be permitted with Tzurat Petach. Amalei comes and he says, Ana Kidech Lishna Drava Sfirli. I hold like the other Lishna of Rava. You also need a tzurat petach besides the tefach tzokhek. So basically the question is, is it enough just the tefach tzokhek or you also need tzurat petach? Here he's going like the shita that you also need tzurat petach. Okay? Tzurat petach is a frame? The frame. On the top. That's called tzurat petach. Okay? Fine. Next. Where they buy the two dots. Zayna mudalet. It says you have to do shtayim kilchatan, two walls like the lacha, and the third wall, even a tefach. So Amar Rabba Rabba says, V'chen l'Shabbat. This doesn't only apply to the Sukkah. The same halacha would apply to Tiltul on Shabbat, which means that if you had this Sukkah and Rishut Rabin made in this way, the Sukkah is considered to do a Shabbat like a Rishut Yechid, and you're allowed to be mitaltel inside of the Sukkah, because it's a Rishut Yechid. So it's not only to do with the Yilchot Sukkah, to be Yitzel Chobah, the Sukkah on Sukkot, it's also on Shabbat. Migo de Havya Dofel, in Sukkah, just like it's going to be a good well, to do with sukkah, have your dofen in Shabbat. It's also going to be good to do with Shabbat. Okay? So, eight ve abaye. Yom Tov, you're allowed to carry. You don't need it. Eight ve abaye. You don't need that. On Yom Tov, you're allowed to carry. There's no problem of carrying on Yom Tov. 
there's no problem of hotzad in tov unless it's lo letzorich. But if it's letzorich, you're allowed to carry even with tarin eruv. Yeah. Eight for Abaye. So Abaye comes. Amen. Right. Abaye comes and he asks the following question: Umi amrinan migo. Do we actually say this concept of migo? Migo is mitoch, meaning mitoch. Since it's considered a, a, a wall to do the sukkah, it's considered a wall to do a Shabbat. But Tanya, we learned in the Brayta, dofen sukkah ke dofen Shabbat. Dofen sukkah is like dofen Shabbat. Uvivat shiluye ben kanel lechaver shoshat vachim. As long as you don't have between one and its friend three vachim, itira Shabbat al sukkah, and it's more Shabbat on sukkah. Shah Shabbat ena niter. It was the Shabbat is not going to be permitted. Meaning, on Shabbat, you need that you have much more of wall than empty space. Omed merube ala parutz. Parutz means breached area, area that does not have any wall. Omed means that you have defanot, you have walls. So it says over here, which means the sukkah is going to be kosher even though you have more parutz than the omed. And you have more open area than the walls. But by the by Shabbat, you need more walls than open area. So says the Gemara, my love, Yitera Shabbat is Sukkah, Sukkah. Is it not that it's Hamur, the deen of the, the, the walls of the Sukkah to do with Shabbat more than the, 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 the halachot of Sukkah in itself? Which means if the Sukkah is parutz, right? Which means that it's got more open wall, like open area, not wall than the wall. And there's Shabbat if Sukkot, still you're going to be Mikayim the Mitzvah of the Sukkah. But you're not allowed to be with the inside of it, right? We don't say migo. Why not? Why not? So he comes and he says like this. He says that we don't say migo. So he answers no. Which means the Shabbat in a normal case is more machmin than the sukkah Shabbat. Which means on a regular Shabbat you cannot be with the unless you have mechitzot which are omed merube ala parutz. But on Shabbat of Sukkot, you're allowed to be metaltel in the Sukkah, even if it's parutz merube ala omed, because since it's a, it's a dofen well, to do a Sukkah, sukkah. it's yeah. a dofen to do a Shabbat, which means one more time. Yeah, one more time. Let's get this clear. You have the Shabbat. I want to carry on Shabbat. Forget about Sukkot. I have Shabbat. I'm on Shabbat. I'm on Shabbat today. This is coming Shabbat. And now all of a sudden what happens is, is that I want to come and carry. For me to carry, what I need to do is I need to have an area which is enclosed. How is it enclosed? It has to be enclosed that it's omed mirube ala parutz. Omed mirube ala parutz means I have more wall than breached area. If I'm going to look at the surrounding four corners and I'm the, the four walls, and I'm going to have more breached area. Breached area means that there's no wall. I'm going to have an open area, empty area, more than the wall space. It's not good. I cannot be mitel tel inside of this on Shabbat. The reason why. Is because on Shabbat I need that it should be considered like a reshut yachid. If it's a reshut yachid inside of it, I could carry. But it's not a reshut yachid if it's open. It's not a reshut yachid. It's not a private domain. It's an open area. Fine. Next case. What about sukkah? So sukkah we said is going to be kosher, even though you have more breached area than walls. As long as you have the kosher walls, right? It's kosher. That's it. There's no problem. Now says the Gemara. What about Shabbat on Sukkot? So Shabbat on Sukkot. Here I am allowed to be metaltel inside of the sukkah. Why? Migo, the fact that on sukkot, it's a considered a good sukkah. Now on Shabbat, during sukkot, I'm allowed to carry inside of it because it's already a good sukkah. And therefore, a sukkah is like a, a considered a reshut yachid, a private domain, and I'm allowed to carry. No, if it's not sukkot, no. It's only because of the migo of sukkot. Since it's kosher to do with alachot of sukkot, it's kosher to do with alachot of Shabbat. Okay? Yachi, if so, litni, nami, yetera sukkah, de alma sukkah de Shabbat. That the chamur of the din of sukkah regila more than even the sukkah of Shabbat. Because if it's sukkah de alma, by a tefach sochek. If it's a regular sukkot, you always need a tefach sochek. But the sukkah of Shabbat, you don't need a tefach sochek. Vesagi belechi. And it's already enough for lechi. As you said, if you went and you put the the if you put on top right of this mavui mifulash that it's got a lechi, it's going to be kosher. So let's see what the what the picture is. Right here, the picture is when we're talking about. Remember, the lechi is usually the side post. So here it says, 
Um, let me see here. It is. You have it there? This is the first case. Dolphin Sukhak, Dolphin Shabbat, Vlad Shluye, Ben Kanele Kanesh, Shoshat Fahim, this Rashi. Okay, then this is the other case. Dolphin Gonosh Bab, Vlad Shluye, Ben Kanele Kabro, Shoshat Fahim. Okay, that means why? Because by the way, this would have been a kosher sukkah. Because remember, since you have less than three tfachim by every single one of the reeds, it's still a wall. Right? It's not a, a, a less than a space, space, less than three tfachim space. So, ever it's still considered a wall. Then it says over here, So here, look, here you have it. Right? This is all the cases here. Yeah. Right? Because basically, look how many. This is still all kosher mitzad You have the you have the kosher measurement. But to do with Shabbat, it's problematic because you have more open space, right? Then wall. But in Shabbat, okay. You say no. 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 Shabbat, Shabbat in Sukkot. That's the answer. That's the answer. Mashein can be Sukkah. This to do with the Sukkah is kosher, even though you have more open space than than wall. No. Here you have the tefach. You it says it. You said you see the tefach. It's like a two by four, let you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like a two by four. Okay, then the last one. Let's see. Uh, here it is. Sikach. Here, uh, let me just see. Here, uh, I lost my mouse. There you go. Here, right. This one. This picture here. This is the mavui mifulash, and here's the lechi. Lechi is right over here. I'm just putting it with my cursor so you could see it. That's a lechi. That's the side post. So the lechi, as long as it's going to be mashu, it's going to be kosher. So look what you did. Here you have a mavui. You put schach on top of it. Right, and it's and it should be kosher. Okay. Okay, fine. Well, well let's see. Okay, let's go. So now says the Gimana. Right? Hahu loitzikhaled. In that case, we didn't need to teach it. Hashta mikilata lechamirata amrina. If you're gonna say that even from the kal to the chamur, which means the sukkah is much lighter than Shabbat, which is more chamur, we're going to say this. So therefore, from Shabbat to Sukkah, which is basically the kal from the Hamur, shouldn't we say it? Obviously, we should say it. If Shabbat is more strict than Sukkah, right? So if by Shabbat you say it, Sukkah the Chomer, you would say it by Sukkah. Okay? Gufa. We just said this. Amar Rabba. Rabba says, we are now on Zayna Mubet. Okay? Please put on your seatbelts. We just said that if you put Sukkah on top of a Mavui that has a Lechi, it's going to be kosher. The Amar Rabbah Rabbah comes and he says, Sikech al gabe pise biraot. If you're going to put schach on top of pise biraot, right? Pise biraot was in order to, the pise biraot was this. Ah, sorry. This is the pise biraot, this one right here. Okay, the one on the left. Yeah. That picture where it says, that's pise biraot. So if you put the schach on top of pise biraot, okay, so it says the Gimara, what's going to be the case? It says over here, it's going to be kosher. Utsricha, and, and it's still going to have, why do you have to teach us this case? Again, there were two cases. Mavui, which was basically the walls, and you have go straight through the alleyway. That's one case, Mavui. Second case, pise biraot. There were no walls. Four posts. Right? Four posts. Pisa bit out. And then, and then you go straight through and you have the schach. You need both cases. Why? Right? It's still kosher. Why? Diyash mina mavui. If it's going to teach you the mavui, mishum di kashte de from maliata, but by the mavui, you had 200% kosher walls. So it makes sense to say that it's kosher. But to do the pisa bit out, the leka shte de from the maliata, that you don't have two different de fano, aim alone, I would say no. Diyash mina pisa bit out. And if it was that you taught us about pisa bit out, right? Mishum di kashem. Right, Arba de Fano, because there at least you have four walls or four types of walls. Again, it's not a full wall, but it's four walls. Aval Sikecha Gabemui, but by Manavui, Teleka Shem Arba, you don't have there four walls, you only have two walls, and then you have a Lechi. A Malo, I would say no. So that's why you needed both those cases, right? One more time, each one had a Chidush, whether it has you have two complete walls or you have four walls, even though they're not complete, but you have four. Now, if you're going to tell me these two cases, Mechamirta lekilata, that's from the Hamur to the Ka, which is Shabbat to the Sukkah. Ava mikilata lechamirat, but from Sukkah to Shabbat. I would say that it doesn't help. That means this Migu, right? I don't say this Migu. So Tzricha, that's why I needed all three cases that it even helps to do with Yilchot Shabbat as well. Okay? Two dots.
We just said that Chamuta is going to be more than Mitzilata. There's going to be more sun than shade. It's going to be Pasul. If this is only going to be, if you have the Chama because of the Schach, which means that you don't have enough in order to make the majority with the shade. But not because of the walls, right? Which means that if the Sukkah is, has a proper Schach, it has everything with Kilchata, but because of the Chama is going in through the holes in the Difanot, so then it does not become a sukkah psula with that, right? That means only just, that means if everything's done kalacha, but just because of the walls, the sun is coming in, it doesn't become fasul because of that. Rabbi Yoshi Yama, Rabbi Yoshi comes and he says, af mechamat tefanot, which means even if you have chamatam ruba mitzilata because of the defanot, it's also pasul. So one more time, I have a case of a kosher sukkah, completely kosher. Now on the top, I have the schach. Because of the schach, I do not have majority sun. Right, but because of the walls, I have majority sun, meaning the sun is coming yeah. in because of the walls. The wall, yeah. So that's the machloka between them. Do I say that it's still kosher or not kosher? Okay, that's what we're saying. If you want here, you could see the the that was from the Mishnah. That's what we learned this from the Mishnah. Okay, so there's no picture here. We're gonna see it now. Fine. Okay. Now the Gemara says, okay, says my time, Adar Yoshia. What's the reasoning, Rabbi Yoshia? Dichtiv v'sakota la'aron et haparochet. The parochet is a mechitza v'kakadi rachmana sechacha. Right. Right now, what do we just say? The parochet, which was right, is considered a mechitza. The Torah is calling the parochet a sechacha. Remember, the parochet was that which separated between the kodesh and the kodesh kodeshim inside of the the big house, right inside of the big walled house, which is basically the ulam. Then you had the Hechal. Inside of the Hechal, you had the Mizbah Hazahav, the Menorah, the Shulchan, and then you had a Parochet. The Parochet was dividing between the Kodesh and the Kodesh and Kodeshim. Inside of the Kodesh and Kodeshim, you had the Aron. So here you had the Parochet. So now this Parochet says the Gemara is calling it, the Torah called it a Parochet, the Mechitza. But we know that it's a Mechitza, and it called it Sechacha. Alma, so you see from here, Mechitza Kishach Bainan, which means just like the Sechach has to be done with Tzel, with shade, so to the mechitza has to be done with shade. If it's not with shade, it's a problem. That's why according to Rabbi Yoshia, also by the Dipanot, if you have majority sun coming in, Kaddish, you're in trouble. By the Rabbanan, according to the rabbis. It says, no, the Lashon al which is written by the Parochet, is, is that you have to actually bend it a little bit in order that it should look like schach, which means that it's not just going to be straight up like a wall, it's going to be a little bit bent in order to look like here it says the, the, the parochet on the top is, is like a little bit folded in towards the inside, right? In order that it's also like a schach on top of the aron. It was done purposely. That's why it was called like schach. So Amar Abaye comes and he says, Rebbe, Rabbi Yoshi, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Shemayim, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, Right? Whether it's Rabbi Yoshi, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Shemayim, Rabbi Yehuda, and everyone. Kuru, Sir, Lehu, all of them hold sukkah, dirat, keva, baina. That we need the sukkah Dirat Keva. What does that mean? That the sukkah needs to be fitting to live there just like a house, which means mamash fixed. Okay? Rebbe, how do we know this? Rebbe, the Tanya, but Rebbe says, we learned in a brighter. Rebbe Omer Rebbe says, Kol sukkah shem ba'arba amot lebe mo psula. If it doesn't have four by four, it's psula, which means that we see from here that there's something incredible. The sukkah in itself has to be that you can live there. If it's not going to be that you can live there, it's a problem. So what's the proof from Rebbe? Because we're going to go one by one, seeing where do they say that. Which one? No, no, no. no. Nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. The sukkah has to be okay, kema. That's fine. The Roshov Ruboza must speak. Roshov Ruboza already must speak. That's all that he needs. No, that's fine. That's what he's saying. It's already okay. But that's, again, that's what we're going to learn that in the Mishnah later on with uh, Betty Lemesh and I. Right? So what happens here? Here we have Rebbe that he says an interesting is so. He says any sukkah that doesn't have four by four amot, which is 1.92 meters square, it's going to be pasul. Why? Because it has to be minimum like a house. And minimum is like a house is two meters. Right? Even nowadays, nobody will live in a house of two meters. But nowadays, we're all mefunakim, right? which means we're... What? Yeah, it's a very tiny house. Yeah? Rabbi Yoshia was also hadyamna. Why? Right, because it says, according to him, it has to be that the, the walls cannot have the tzel, the shade, 
It also has to have that the shade is like the walls of the house, which means that you cannot have the sun coming inside. The Buda, how do we know the Buda also holds of this? The Tramas we learned above in Beta Mudal. Sukashi Gwala Manam Simam Absula, the Buda Mashi. Why does the Buda hold that a sukkah which is above 20 amot is going to be kosher? Because according to him, even if it's going to be more than 20 amot, it's going to be kosher because he holds that it's dirat keva. You need a dirat keva. Okay? Rabbi Shimon. Where do we see the shitav Rabbi Shimon? It says here, the time was learned in a Mishnah, in a Braita. We learned the Braita, Shtaim kil chatanu shashita pilu teva. Right? We said that you need two walls which are like halacha and one even a tefach. Right? Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon says, Shalosh kil chatan, three walls kil chatan, and the revit is going to be even a tefach. Rabbi Gamliel, how do we know Rabbi Gamliel holds like this? The time was learned in a, in a Braita. If somebody is going to make a sukkah on top of a, an agalah, of a chariot, right? What? what? Yes, the Raya will show it in a few minutes at the end. Or also on top of a boat, Rabbi Gamliel says it's pasul. Why do you say it's pasul? Because it's not keva. Rabbi Kiva says it's going to be kosher. Bet Shammai, Bet Shammai, how do we know? The Tram was going to tell Mishnah, Misha Yarosho, Rubo, Sukkah, Shulchano, Betoch, Abayit, Bet Shammai, Posim, Bet Ilen, Mashirim. Right? That's exactly what we said. We were going to learn later on. The Mishnah, later on, Kafchet Amudalev says, according to Shabit Abet Shammai, you need to have also the table inside. Why do you need to have also the table inside? Because if you have the table inside the house, it's not Dirat Keva. The table has to be inside the Sukkah. Bet Ilel says, it's kosher, because obviously we don't need that. So it's, that's going to be the Machloket as well. Rabbi Yezer, Tetram, as we learned in the Mishnah, how says Sukkah Tok means Srif, Right, if somebody is going to make a sukkah like a tzrif, a tzrif is like a little hut, or or you you supported it on the wall. Rabbi Yezer says it's going to be pasul. Why? Because it doesn't have a roof. Right, it doesn't have a roof. It only it doesn't have a roof at all. But basically, it's going like this. So there's no roof. Right, no, it's no, it's, no, it's no, like that. No, We're going to see no. now the picture. Chachamim Hashirim Chachamim says it's going to be kosher. Acherim, other people, the Tanya was learned in a brayta. Right, when you learn the brayta, Acherim Omrim sukkah suya keshovach. It's going to be made like a shovach. Which is like agula, which is round, meaning a round sukkah is ksula. Shel nazaviot, but it does. It's not like a house; it doesn't have corners. So the fact that it doesn't have corners, it's going to be pesula. Very quickly, I'm going to show everyone the pictures. This is the case of right of rosh agala on top of an agala, right? What do you call it? the sukkah card? The sukkah, sukkah tank, yeah. Sukkah tank. Okay, right? Rosh asfina on top of a boat, right? This is the tzrif, the hut. Okay, this is the one that you uh, supported it on the wall. So since you support it on the wall, it doesn't have a roof. Okay, and this is a sukkah, which is a psula, because even though it's a big, no, no, this one it's agula. Agula means that it's made, right, like round. Why? But it doesn't, it's not like a house, it's circles. So it's, a, it's not a question, but it doesn't have any type of rounds. Okay, fine. Now says the Gimana, right? Kiman, who does this go like? So says the Gimana, right? It goes like... I lost my nose. Here. Okay, who does this go like? Like Rebbe Dama, but he says, He says, if it doesn't have four by four months, it's going to be Psula. So Michti, we're going to say, Gavra Yati, he says, the person is going to be in his Ama, right? So if you have the circumference three Tvachim, so you have the, 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 how do you call it? The, 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 the width is going to be a Tefach. So Betreisar Sagi, so it's going to be enough with 13, and then the Gemara is going to continue. So, Blinada, we continue 